How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Justice For All. We're gonna finish this shit. We're gonna wrap it up right here and now. This is the same day that I recorded the last set of videos, the first part of the trial. I wasn't planning to continue playing more today, but I gotta... I gotta finish it. I gotta see how it ends. Today is October 9th, and we're gonna finish it all good. So let's press... Whoa, I, I can't... I haven't actually listened to it yet, that's why I can't press. I was like, wait a minute. It was not that long ago that I played this, I probably should have remembered that. There's something I must first state. To an assassin, nothing is more important than the trust between a client and himself. And that is the reason I am here today. So it's not just him being, like, loyal to his client, he also expects trust the other way around. So it's like I said way back when, we're gonna tell him that uh, Matt was recording him and he'll be like, oh, fuck you, dude. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give the name of my client. Hmm, Mr. De Killer seems to be a very clever man. I'd almost say he seems to be mocking us. I don't agree, but okay. <laughs> While he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor, Mr. De Killer is only stating the truth. He is no hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean about this trust between his clients and himself thing? Hmm, it seems to be a level of trust beyond what people like me can comprehend. Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready to cross-examine the witness? Yes, Your Honor. There's no way to know what's coming next, so stay cool and collected, Phoenix. Are we gonna get Matt up on the stand so we can see him freak out? We have to at some point. Come on. There is something I must first state. I probably didn't need to press that. <laughs> but I like to press anything, uh, everything, most of the time. Uh, wow. Uh, why, did, why is it in green? As if it's the next part of the testimony? Is it always in green? Like, why is it... Whatever. When the... When the... When they continue talking after I've questioned them, it doesn't usually show up in green, right? Maybe it's just because he's over the fucking radio or whatever. It was weird. Okay. So yeah, there was uh, absolutely no point pressing that. The trust between you and your clients? I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. If too many people knew my face, it would be quite troublesome. And that is why you are testifying in this manner? This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. I must preserve the de killer name so my clients can trust me. And it's all because Adrian took the damn card. Among other reasons. It's all, and a lot of it's really because of her. Couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It has never happened before, but if it ever did, yes. That person wouldn't be my client for very long. Aww, shit. They would certainly. That's enough. Please, no more. Very well, it was only a hypothetical anyway. No, it's very real. Uh, do I need to press that at all? That seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell us the name of your client. I would think that this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. This client is already broke. Okay, so he already knows. They already told him. I don't know how they conveyed that information or how he found out. This person tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save themselves. Oh, does he not even know? He doesn't know that he blackmailed him? He's just mad that he tried to implicate someone else? You're not allowed to do that? Oh, this guy is like a really honor-bound assassin, then, geez. Who gave you the right to be so high and mighty? Judge, don't question him. To the gentleman who spoke just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? Oh, shit, that's what I've asked him, like, a bunch of times. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, I, uh, I didn't say anything. I can only imagine that we're gonna continue, like, the DeKiller storyline in the next game. I don't know for sure, but it seems like we would. It seems like trying to catch the line of assassins. Maybe that's a little too much for Phoenix to handle, I don't know. I'm afraid I cannot do that. I still have a few things to say before I do. That egomaniacal... Well, you gotta like Maya go then, right? It's not good for your health to be so aggravated. They're, uh, catching up to you, maybe, sometime, sort of. You won't live very long if you let everything bother you. Somehow that coming from an assassin makes it less than comforting. Well, assassins aren't bothered by anything. They just do their job and they... whatever. Patience, try to calm down a little. It's important to try and understand his mindset. He seems very steadfast and close, so you're going to have to work to get him to talk. I'm not his therapist, you know. 
Okay. So, presenting. The trust between a client and himself. I mean, he did say the thing about, oh, he's, he implicated somebody else, but that's not one of his actual statements that I can press. So, uh, present on. So, what could I possibly present? Wait, is this new? Oh, what? Okay, that's weird. I, d I had no idea what to present. I just pressed everything again. Because there was, like, nothing to present. I, I was pressing again, and when I pressed... I think it was his second sentence. I think this is new. So I had to press... I pressed the second one, then I pressed the ones all after it. I went in order, and then I had to go back and press the second one again after pressing the other ones. Has that ever happened before? That's a little weird. I didn't think of that immediately at all. I was sitting here like, what do I fucking present? And then I just kind of did it randomly out of desperation. Okay, wow. That's, I mean, that's why he leaves his card, so everybody knows that it was him. He doesn't want other people to get in trouble for what he did. I kind of like this guy. <laughs> a person... <laughs> I shouldn't. He's, a uh, you know, he done some stuff. A person who frames another is the worst kind of human. I, uh, that statement, though, that's a little extreme. Uh, but all right. <laughs> and that's why you feel you can betray this person. I have no trust relation with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Just my luck, an assassin with a conscience. Who would have figured? Well, I mean, it is your luck. What are you talking about? This is a good thing. It's gonna get Matt guilty, which is good. And he's the one who has Maya, so he's... He's not gonna fucking... I mean, he'd probably release her. The fact that he has a conscience is a good thing. Are you paying attention? This case just keeps getting better and better. Why are you saying that sarcastically? It's true. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can't proceed. Everyone understands your point, I think. Really. In that case, I believe I am prepared to disclose the information you seek. You have made it crystal clear that you value trust over all else. I believe we are ready. Excellent. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. All right, do it. Thank you. Yes. What is it? Uh, now I can't bring myself to ask the client's name. If you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. Witness? What is the name of your client who requested the murder of Mr. Juan Corrida? That person's name is... Why are you in despair over this? Am I missing something? The whole reason that he kidnapped Maya is because he needed... Is because he wanted uh, Matt to get acquitted. But he doesn't care about Matt anymore. So do you really think he's going to be so much of an asshole from what we've seen of his personality that he's just going to kill Maya out of spite or something? You should be... This is a good thing. What if he lies? Ah, he did lie! Oh, motherfucker. Piece of shit. So what the fuck was... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. My, 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 uh, the person who frames another is the worst kind of human. Piece of shit, asshole bastard. I shouldn't have said that I liked you. That's not who you told me it was earlier. Piece of shit. He did that. So I guess he was lying. He doesn't give a fuck. He does not give a shit if his, uh, if his client frames somebody else. All that he cares about is that he gets his client off scot-free. Which is what he's still trying to do. He tricked Edgeworth into letting him come up here so that he could say that and get Matt acquitted. Pray tell, what are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? I should think I know my own client and it is Adrian Andrews. Poor Adrian, man. That thing is huge. Why is that, like, so big? <laughs> this can't be on the phone earlier. What's going on here? My guess is that Mr. DeKiller just stabbed Mr. Edgeworth in the back. Stabbed Edgeworth in the back? I'm sure in order to get an audience with this court, Mr. DeKiller told him a different name. Matt Ungard, perhaps. I knew it. This, this is outrageous. It was, I was deceived. This witness is telling a very serious lie. But you were the one who summoned this witness. Yes. Ah, oh, you, Shelley DeKiller. My testimony is the truth. 
The defendant at the moment is Matt on guard. Am I correct? All I wish to do is help procure his acquittal. That's true, you piece of shit. Wow. All of a sudden, it feels like we can actually win this. Yeah. We don't want to win! Have you guys lost the plot? The prosecution has failed to provide a motive and has instead provided this suicide note, which is a forgery created by the victim. Furthermore, there is a possibility the defendant himself knew it was a fake. But most definite, definitive of all, we have heard from the assassin himself the name of his client. Mr. DeKiller's client who requested the murder was not the defendant at all. Man, Phoenix is just too good even when he overall wants to lose. He can't help but win. With all this evidence, it is obvious to me that this means that Mr. Matt on guard is innocent. He's not. Don't flash the words up on the screen just yet. I seem to have caused you all a bit of confusion. Please continue your discussion and call me when you have reached a verdict. You piece of... Bailiff, please bring Miss Adrian Andrews in immediately. What now? With the way this is going, on guard will be found innocent. This may be our last chance to save Maya. We have to be able to... We have to have an opportunity to tell the killer that on guard was going to blackmail him. We need to get him back in here because he doesn't know that yet. That's going to be what does it. What are we going to do until then? I don't know. Your Honor, the prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. Shelley the Killer is certainly lying under oath. Literally all every character ever has done that. It wasn't me. Listen, everyone, please. That testimony just now, it was all one big lie. Miss Andrews, the suicide note may have been a fake, but that man, Matt, he's the re reason Celeste died. And Juan's death, it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twisted world. That testimony just now, you have to believe me. It was a horrible, horrible lie. But Mr. DeKiller himself has testified. He has named you as his client. No, that's not true. And I feel so bad because I'm the one who brought that up in the first place. Because I had to, to drag, the, to drag it out, but... Damn it. But that's... that's... You even have a motive. We know that Miss Celeste Impacts was a large part of your life. You wanted to follow her, and you wanted revenge against the two who hurt her. I would say you have plenty of reasons to want them both dead. I... no. Mr. Wright. You... you know the truth. Tell them. Tell them the real story, who the real killer is. Tell them. Please, help me. Dude, like... You gotta help her, man. Like, I mean... I... you can't be just stand by and let this shit happen. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I believe we have reached the end of this trial. Therefore, I ask the defense for any final words or opinions. I have to decide. Do I take the not guilty verdict and save Maya? Or do I throw this chance away and wait for Gumshoe's new evidence? What am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Is this where the different ending comes into play? If I just say request the verdict... That's just like, oh, okay, Adrian Andrews is guilty, and that's the bad ending? I'm not going to request that. Continue. I can't do it, Mia. I can't accept a not guilty. You are a lawyer. I know. I'm a human being first. But, but Matt Ongard is a killer, a murderer. I can't. Him getting off is one thing, but her going away for it, dying for it, I can't, I can't, I can't be responsible for that. And I'm saying that as me, not just as Phoenix. Like, I would feel bad, because I'm so invested in this case. And even though I don't want to admit it, I have to face the fact that it is because of Edgeworth that I know now, now know, the real truth. He could have gotten on guard convicted so many times over, over, but he never took a single one of those chances. If I take this verdict right now, I'd be betraying his trust. His trust? I never thought about it until now. I trust him. Yes, you do. Don't let Pearl know she'll ship you two. The defense requests that we be allowed to further question Mr. DeKiller. I just want to tell him that Matt was blackmailing him. I know that that's what needs to be done here. I just need Phoenix to say it. 
That witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. I'm not done yet. To see through this with... To see through this witness's lies and find the truth. That is my job, Your Honor. The phone is ringing. Okay, phone's done. There's still more evidence to look at. And I'm sure that once those pieces arrive here in this very courtroom, a miracle will occur. I don't know if it's a fucking miracle. All you need to do is tell him that he was going to blackmail him. Mr. Edgeworth, please re-establish connection with Mr. DeKiller. Right away, Your Honor. Don't make me do a... What was it? Was it case three? Yeah, where the entire time I wanted Phoenix to say, just because it's his clothes doesn't mean it's him, and it took him a fucking hour to say it. Don't do that again, where I know immediately, I've known for a long time exactly what needs to be done here, and don't, don't make it take too long. <laughs> All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need from me for? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. That is how things are usually done. What is he talking about? Usually done. But what shall we have him testify about now? Mr. DeKiller, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people in your procedures, is it any wonder no one likes to go to court? As I have already stated quite a few times, Adrian Andrews is my client. However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime. So that's what he was talking about. Oh, framing someone else. Or well, pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene. Because Matt didn't really frame anyone, but I just thought that, you know, he let it... He let the blame get put on Adrian. I thought that's what he initially meant. Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Corridor was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the knife and button. That act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rules. You were referring to bullshit. Straight up bullshit. Hmm. This is a most unexpected turn of events. For the, uh, more like the 35th. <laughs> However, this time everything has finally been revealed. No, no, not at all. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? We still have the cross-examination to do. But you don't need to question testimony like this. I do. Do you, Mr. Wright? Your Honor, the defense will question the witness. As if I have a choice here. Huh? Why? What this witness has said is nothing but beneficial to the defense's case. If you scrutinize the testimony, then... Then I'll expose the lies in that oh-so-beneficial testimony, I suppose. I don't understand what's going on anymore. That makes two of us. Phoenix, you understand perfectly what's going on, right? Have I put too much faith in you? I understand. I know more than you, because I know exactly what I need to say to this fucker. He's gotta get there. What is it, Mr. Wright? If I press him the wrong way, I might raise suspicions on his end. But I have to do something to waste more time. Uh, witness? About requesting a hit. Are you going to request a hit on someone? How much- <laughs> You piece of shit! <laughs> oh my god. I see you are also quite a dark-hearted man, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you would like to talk business, we can do so after the trial. I need you to go after a certain woman, and I need you to use a whip. Just for irony. No, no, no. I'm not thinking of hiring- no. Mr. Wright! Yes? <laughs> you, you, you... You want to kill me! <laughs> You want me dead, don't you? I hope this is the end. Like, it literally just ends right now. He's just like, uh, guilty. Which is actually good for me, but he does it to spite me, because he doesn't know what's going on. And then he, and then that's it. Like, I get fired, and I don't know. I don't know. I hope it ends right now. <laughs> what? Why would you think something like that, Your Honor? Guilty! <laughs> no! Oh my god! You are hereby declared guilty! I hope this is the ending. This would be amazing if this was the bad ending. <laughs> Just because I pressed that one statement, Phoenix goes to jail forever because he wanted to kill the judge. Oh my god, please end. No? Aw. That would have been amazing. That was good. That was some funny shit. I don't think I really made a big enough deal about how funny the phone thing was. That was really funny, too. They just so you put the phone on the screen and spin it. Don't even crop out the background. It just that's that's a good that's a good that's a good animation. And now we had that. We had the baseball shit. 
This last trial has been pretty funny. Because <laughs> instead of trying to figure out what's going on, we're just goofing around and saying dumb shit, and it's hilarious. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, a change in occupation might be good for you. However, I will say this. Every, even though I am the one that does the deed, my clients are always the real guilty party. Uh, you both are. That goes without saying, Mr. Dekiller. And their fate is to live with the knowledge of their guilt on their shoulders. However, my client this time thought that they could run away from their guilt. 